Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova again, and today we're looking at the model 49IQ ozone analyzer from Thermo Scientific. And this unit is a dual cell, cell A, cell B, um, ozone analyzer. And on the front screen, this is a touch screen. It has calibration, data, settings, these three icons. A green check mark to tell you if status is okay, as a password protect, and a favorite screen. So looking at the uh, calibration screen, uh, very similar to the other IQs I've shown, like on the H2S or the NOx, we have a calibrate background, calibrate span coefficient, uh, custom ozone levels, a zero span schedule, and advanced calibration. So to do the zero background adjust, we just simply go into calibrate background, shows a target background and zero. Current is 3.1 ppb, uh, calculated, and then to calibrate, you just simply hit the calibrate button. So you'll be sampling zero air when you want to do this, and just simply hit calibrate, and that will do your background adjust. If we go back one screen, just using this back arrow, you can see the calibrate span coefficient. Go in here, edit span concentration. So you'll be sampling uh, cal gas at this point. So if you, you need to set your span concentration that you want to enter. So if I go back and look at that previous screen, it's 900 ppb is entered in here now. So if I wanted to change that, I would just simply come in. And if I wanted 700, I just go 700. And then I would hit enter. And now it's 700 right there. So you'd wait for the cal gas to stabilize and then hit calibrate and it would adjust your coefficient accordingly. And that's how easy it is to do the calibration on the span coefficient. So if I go back one screen, there's the background and the span coefficient. Back in. There it is. Edit span concentration. Zero span schedule. This unit can be set if it has a solenoid inside or for zero span or the, the internal ozonator. Uh, you can set up a schedule. You can just you can activate it here, enable it. Uh, you can have it occur every 24 hours or every 12 hours, whichever you want. Uh, the next time to go off, how long? Uh, duration: 15 minutes. Uh, the ozonator level uh, that you want to select: uh, ozonator level one, level two, level three. There's a more screen here. Levels four, five, and six purge duration so all of this is set up to do a, uh, a daily span you can set it up internally through a span schedule instead of having to trigger the analyzer remotely by a data logger external data logger you can have this unit programmed to do its own internal span and zero custom ozone levels uh, set up here level one set for 10 ppb they're all set for 10 ppb we can scroll up, oh, yeah, they're all set factory set from 10 ppb. These can be changed to whatever value you want. Go back, advanced calibration. You have a manual calibration screen. You can manually adjust the background or the span coefficient. You can reset the background to zero and the span coefficient to one in this screen. Cal history. So it has a record cal history feature, ozonator cal, low auto span. It shows you the, the timestamp on the left side and the results on the right. Go back. And that's the calibration screen. So if I go back in, just calibrate background, span coefficient, uh, zero span schedule, to set your custom ozone levels, that sort of thing. Looking at the data screen, you can view the last hour, 24 hours, uh, view data log, use a defined time, advanced data setup. So if I look at the last hour button, it'll retrieve the last hour of data and show the date, the time, and the readings right here. If I touch the word graph, it'll actually show me what the last hour of graph data looks like right on the screen. So I can go back and I can look at the last 24 hours, it'll retrieve the last 24 hours and I can do the same thing, I can look at the graph and there's the last 24 hours of data. Go back, view data log, so you can uh, save data logging start time so you can edit the, uh, the data log 
on this unit. Advanced data setup, data logging setup. You can select your variables that you want to record. Uh, right now it's highlighted yellow for, P, uh, for concentration. But I could say I want to record cell A noise, flow, photometer, cell B, you know, anything, all these ones I can go down further. Ozonator check alarms. So you, to deselect them, you just touch them again. But you can record plenty of uh, data to help you troubleshoot this unit. Um, one minute averaging time, data treatment average here. And you can erase the data as well. Looking at the settings screen, there's a health check. Status and alarms for looking for errors. Uh, ozonator tells you the lamp temperature, lamp current, which is an issue with the shorts. So there's lots of uh, lots of troubleshooting information in here. The diagnostics for the voltages, uh, photometer bench, pressure value, flow, bench temperature, cell A, cell B concentrations. Cell A intensity, there's your cell A B intensities right here. Lamp temperature. Lots of information in here. Um, intensity check. You can do an intensity A reference gas, intensity sample gas, intensity B reference, and intensity B sample gas. Pressure check, same thing. You can do a sample reference system leak check. Flow and pressure, it's monitored. There's your flow, photometer pressure, pump pressure, module. Lots of diagnostics on the voltage. Power supply okay, board communication okay. Peripheral support, sample cal valve, reference valve. Go into more. We can look at the serial number of the instruments. Um, they've serial numbered put serial numbers on lots of the modules in this unit so the flow of pressure has a serial number photometer the instrument itself the ozonator has a serial number so they can track the parts on these units back looking at maintenance there's a preventive maintenance screen look at interval and in months months left so you can have an idea how much time is left before you need to do it. It's recommended to do a lamp change, a heater, the AB detectors, how many months they've been operating in. Advanced maintenance, you can reset all maintenance items in that menu. In that menu. User contact information. This is where you can set up um, email addresses. So if this unit is connected to your network it can send out an email address alert with any of the alarms to uh, up to I think up to 10 emails up to 10 emails on here uh, great feature to have if you've got it connected to a net, your network uh, put your business name username in user ID and then have lots of uh, emails on here to people that are need to be alerted on how the instrument is operating USB drive, um, you can download, if you plug into the USB port below here, you can download data by the USB drive, so you don't have to connect it to ePort software with the laptop, you can actually just download the uh, soft, download the data quickly with just a thumb drive, and then simply go plot it into an Excel spreadsheet, so that's what that USB drive is all about. Configuration. The highlighted yellow blocks are just simply showing what's installed in this unit. There's a sample cal assembly, there's an ozonator assembly for daily spans, instrument warm-up is set, uh, so it lets the instrument get up to temperature before it starts to do any a sample. Instrument settings, uh, pump power is enabled, alarm set points, when Set your ozonator check one, your background, your ozone concentration alarms. You can change the language, set the clock on this unit. So lots of different ways to look at the, uh, the information on this system. So calibration, data, and settings. 
the function on the front with the check mark. If this is not a green check mark, there's a status alarm. You can touch this, it'll tell you what the status alarm is. It takes you into the look at the concentration. And if there was an issue, it would show up in red on that line for background check, ozonator level one check. In this case, if there's an error on the photometer bench, it would show up in red on which line was the error. Uh, the ozonator itself. So it has lots of diagnostics to help you troubleshoot this unit. Intensity check as well. So this is the IQ ozone analyzer and calibration data and settings. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.